Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today we are back with how to grow millets. Millets are a group of highly variable small seeded grasses widely grown around the world as cereal crops and grains for both human food and fodder. They can play a vital role in preventing and curing several health issues. Millets contain incredibly nutrient-rich composition and rich with goodness of nature. Millets are rich in source of fiber, minerals like magnesium, phosphorus, iron, calcium, zinc, and potassium. First of all, let's see climatic requirements for millets. Millets require warm temperatures for germination and development and are sensitive to frost. For this reason, they are normally planted from mid-June to mid-July month. Optimum soil temperature for seed germinations are between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And foxtail millet are efficient users of water and grow well in areas of low moisture partly because they are early and thereby avoid periods of drought. Millets are often grown as catch crops where other crops have failed due to unfavorable weather. Now, let's see soil requirements for millets. Millets produce well on well-drained loamy soils. They will not stand waterlogged soils or extreme drought Porso millet does not make good on coarse, sandy soils. Sand preparation and germination of millets. A fungicide will give protection against head smut and may increase seedling survival. The first thing in cultural practice we can follow is seed bed propagation. Seed bed preparation of millet is related to that for spring seeded small grains, which must be controlled prior to planting and the seed bed should be firm and well worked. Since millets are planted late in season, spring blowing and farming for weed control are practical. Now, let's get into the method and date of seedlings. Millets are generally seeded with a grain drill at a depth of one in. Even though the seed is small, it can develop extreme elongation for the first internodes and even deeper unless a hard crust form. Press wheels on the drill will increase seedbed firmness and aid in stand establishment. Millets complete poorly with weeds, therefore high seedling rates are essential to establish a dense stand. Fertility and lime requirements for growing millets. Nitrogen is usually the most limiting nutrient in millet production. Rates of nitrogen must be based on yield and goals and cropping history. Excess nitrogen, whether applied or residual, may affect in lodging. Allow for nitrogen useful as manure or other waste. Phosphorus and potassium should be applied as needed based on soil recommendation. Drill row applications of fertilizer may cause seedling injury and are not recommended. The pH level of millet growing is 5.6 or higher is recommended for millet. Now, let's get into the introduction of millet's farming. There are different plants that includes in millets. They are sorghum, pearl millet, finger millet, foxtail, etc. Sorghum is normally known as jowar in India. Traditionally, sorghum was used as a grain to make flat breads or rotis. Enriched with goodness in iron, protein, and fiber, jowar can help in reducing cholesterol level as it has component called polycosanols. For sorghum farming, it requires an average temperature of at least 25 degrees Celsius to generate maximum grain yield in given year. Maximum photosynthesis is attaining at daytime temperatures of at least 30 degrees Celsius. Sorghum or jowar cannot be planted until soil temperature reach 17 degrees Celsius. Grain sorghum is generally planted with commercial corn cedar at a depth of 2 to 5 cm depending on the density of soil. 
Insect and disease are not prevalent in sorghum crops. Birds, however, are the main source of yield loss. The crop may be attacked by corn earthworms, aphids, and some Lepidoptera larvae, including turnip moth. The next type of millet is pearl millet. Pearl millet is the most widely grown type of millet and in India is the largest producer of pearl millet. It is known as sajalu in Hindi. Pearl millet is the second important millet of India. Pearl millet is a rich source of phosphorus which plays an important element in the structure of body cells. It is also called as bulrush millet, blah blah blah, Bajra, Bukun, Gero, etc. For farming pearl millet, soil temperatures should be at least 65 degrees Fahrenheit and rather warmer before pearl millet is planted. In optimum planting time is June with a range of mid-May to mid-June being suitable. Now, the next is finger millet or ragi. It is also known as African finger millet, red millet, ragi and very popular millet especially in southern india it is rich in calcium and protein and has good amount of iron and other minerals finger millet tops in antioxidant activity among common indian foods ragi have some good number of essential amino acids which are necessary for human body for farming finger millet it can be grown in hot weather crop from May to September using long duration varieties and as a cold season crop from November and December using early types. An application of farmyard manure at 8 to 10 tons per hectare is recommended in order to develop the soil organic matter content, moisture retention ability, and soil structure. Now, let's see pests and disease control in millet farming. Head smut can be a problem in porso millet but can be restricted by seed treatment. Kernel smut can be present in both porso and foxtail millet. This disease requires seed treatment and crop rotation for effective control as inoculum will remain in the soil for several years. Grain mold is a major disease in sorghum and occasionally may be observed on pearl millet and finger millet. First visible symptoms on sorghum appear on spikelet tissues as pigmentation of the lemma, pele, or gloom or fungal growth on anthers and filaments. Insects and mites and their control. Wheat curl mite, foxtail millet is recognized to harbor this insect which may transmit wheat streak mosaic to winter wheat. Cutting foxtail for hay by early August and then undercutting the stubble must kill the crop and prevent it from acting as a host. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers insect has been the most serious on millets. Insecticides are cleared for uses on millets for manage of grasshoppers. Army worms insect can be prevalent but it can be controlled by insecticides. Now, let's get into harvesting methods of millets. Millets are ready to harvest when seeds in the upper half of the panicle are mature. Seeds in the lower half of the panicle may still be in those stage but must have lost their green color. At this point, the leaves and the stems may still be green. Millets is generally harvested by swatting to allow drying of straw before combining. Swatting too early reduces yield, test weight, and color quality. Harvesting too late increases loss as a result of shattering and lodging. Rodents and birds can source damage to porso millet during ripening. Control programs are often required. Foxtail millets must be harvested for hay on silage from the late boot to bloom stage. At this stage, hay quality is at its peak and protein level of 12-14% to 14 may be regular. As the plant mature, protein refuses. Also, mature bristles from decayed harvest may cause lump jaw and sore eyes in cattle feeding on bunks. When harvesting foxtail millet for seedling production, it must not be cut until completely ripe, then swathed and trashed. 
Sometimes it is directly combined after a killing frost and seed loss will occur. That's all folks for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.